Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to be talking about adding background images or solid colors in the background to your renders. I'll also tell you how you can render your animations so you have solid colors in the background and the format you need to use if you send it across to something like Photoshop. So this is for those people that want to keep the HDRI lighting but they want a solid color in the background instead. So here's my C Shack scene and lots of people have been asking the question how do I put a background color in? Now obviously if you're in the world section of your shader and I'm in the shading tab at the moment you've already got your HDRI putting color into your scene which you want so you don't want to just change the background color here but also you don't want a big HDRI image in the background in your renders as well. Well first of all you must make sure that you go into your render settings over the side here down to film and make sure transparent is ticked that way you'll get this checkered pattern in the background I'll just turn my overlays off so we can see that and when I render this image it will have a transparent background there is one other thing you must check that's in the output you must have it at RGBA so that's red green and blue and an alpha channel and that alpha channel is telling us what's transparent or not that's why it's far more useful to render an animation as a PNG sequence rather than something like an AVI and have lots of separate images that you put together afterwards because then you get that alpha channel. That's how I can do spinning things at the bottom of my screen and so forth. So once you've rendered out your image as an RGBA you can take it into a separate program like GIMP or Photoshop. I use Photoshop and it's very straightforward. So I'll render this image with F12 and to save it, image, save as and save it in a suitable folder. Then when you bring it into your program like Photoshop, you can see that the background is clear and I can just add a background layer. This will be the same in GIMP, new layer, make sure that's at the bottom and find a suitable color. I think it's useful to choose a complementary color to your scene. So a blue would go quite well here. Select my blue and fill that in. You can also do a gradient or radial fill and that way it won't just be plonked in the background. Now if you want to do this in Blender it's a bit more awkward. So let's go into Blender and we've got our render there. I'll close that down and I go to the compositing. Now in the compositor you have to use nodes and here's my rendered layer as we can see and here's the composite. What we need to do is shift A and add a viewer node. So I'll just search for viewer. So if you click at the search at the top you can type in view and there's the viewer then I can go from the image to the viewer like this and we can see it in the background as long as this backdrop thing is ticked here and at any time it gets confusing just turn the backdrop off so what we need is a mix in here to go to the viewer and the composite these are actually both the same but this is just your final image and this is showing us the background we need a new texture so shift A I'll search again image so an image texture and we can create a new. So new just here. Make sure it's the same size as your resolution of your camera, which is usually 1920 by 1080. So the same as HD. And here's where we can change our color to something suitable and bluey. We don't need the alpha channel in this because that's the transparency, but this bit isn't transparent. Press OK. There's our background. We need to mix these two together. So we'll need a mix node. So Shift A. We can search for that as well. There's the mix. Let's put it in there. Put this image in here. And let's see what that's looking like. Now, what's happening is it's going from this image and turning it into this color. We actually need the alpha, the alpha channel here, driving the difference between the two. So we bring the alpha in to the factor. Not making any difference at the moment. We need to just switch these around. And there's the background image. So yes, a little bit tricky, but now when you render it, you will see a background image. Although I forgot to put this output to my composite as well. So now when I press F12, we have a color in the background. Now, if you do it this way, that means you can go across to your output and change it to a video file. So FFmpeg is the best for compression, into encoding and H.264 and you can turn the quality up if you wanted better quality. So if you've got any animations in your camera or in the scene, you can render a video with the background image in. Like I say, I much prefer to go to a image editor or a video editor and add that in in post. So hopefully that clears it up. It's a little bit complicated, 
Let me know if you have any difficulty in the comments below and I will try and get back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.